Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Ohio Richlands. Yes, we are here. We have two fields to harvest today. Five and six. Both of these are canola. Should be a nice profit. On the previous episode, we did get rid of field 22. That is now sold. So we don't have to worry about that. I went through and did kind of a work plan of what we want to do for these fields afterwards. I think we're going to do sorghum in one. Uh, sunflowers in six and wheat in five. I think it would be good to do wheat in five because these will be like uh, nice long rows. So when we bale our straw, it's going to be pretty easy and simple to do that. So let's go ahead and get started. I think we're going to start on five. Now that harvest was only about 60%. Uh, so we ain't going to get the most out of it, but it is a free crop. So that is very helpful. I believe it was 60. We do have to buy the soil uh, map for this yet. But yeah, 64% is the expected yield. Nothing crazy. But it's still good. Alright. Look at that glorious crop going into the harvester right there. Coming on down. Yeah, we are going to get a lot off of our field there, though, because that's... We did basically everything except rolling on that, and uh, I suppose mulching, too. We could have mulched, but... Kind of not deciding... Well, we're deciding not to really do those on this playthrough, because I just want to hammer out some crop and... See where we can get... I do want to get some bigger equipment. We're trying to keep our eyes out for a decent tractor, although we really can't afford it right now, because we do got to get that seed treatment next is on the list there. Otherwise, I think most everything we kind of got that we needed, but it'll be uh, important to get some bigger tractors so we can start expanding and leaving those at some other fields. Especially our smaller hay field, we want to kind of have a tractor left down there. We'll leave the baler down there. Alright, we're just getting the last little bit here. That was quite the harvest on field 5. Very good, very good. One wagon full and probably what, maybe, maybe not quite a quarter. For the second. But after we get the other field, this was just a regular harvest though too, so after we get our other field which I think we're going to end up having to unload quite a bit on that one. And we're going to have a lot of uh, wagons full. And this stuff sells for pretty good money too, so that's exciting once we get that cashed in. So I think we're going to put this one off on a worker. Actually, I should probably do the headland first. Let's check our yield potential here. So 72... We, we could have got 80 if we would have did our rolling and our 
I suppose are mulching too. So it's not as high as I thought it would have been, but I think we should be somewhat, well, I guess it will be a lot better. The other one was at 60, this is 72, so kind of know right away. I think what we'll do is end up uh, purchasing that soil information and we can see where we're at on um, field five there. And uh, we could probably go ahead and start getting that somewhat prepped. I guess we still got a year before we'll plant, I think. I think that the, uh, no, actually, I take that back. The the wheat that I have planned for five is going to plant before the end of this year. So we kind of do want to get going on that. All right. That's one lap right there. So I think what we'll do, let's see. Maybe, maybe let's try to go this way with the worker. Because last time we went the other way. Actually, I don't know if the harvester had an issue. It was the... It was the uh, spreader that had an issue. Let's see what happens here. Have to get him unloaded. It's a decent square. I mean, either way you go is kind of more or less the same. Alright, let's go over and grab our gravity box. I suppose we'll have to get that dumped here, too. That's so while we're over here. Let's go ahead and purchase that soil information. Purchase soil information. It costs us $2,100. Alright, so what do we have here? Looks like we got silty clay and some loam. Yeah, that clay is not the best to uh, work with. Alright. Back in the John Deere here. So we'll get ourselves turned around. We'll grab the... What's in the harvester. Okay, so our... On uh, field 5 here, our pH is... Bad. We're gonna have to get some lime spread, and I thought it would have been bad. So what we'll do is... While he's harvesting on six over here, we're going to go ahead and get some lime spread. But we'll uh, top up our gravity box here as soon as he flips around. And we'll get it unloaded. Alright. They're topped up here. Yeah, like I said, I think this is going to be a very nice harvest. Canola is a crash, uh, cash crop. It's, I think we're going to do very well when we sell this. Oh yeah, he's not finishing out the rows here either. That's fine, we can come back and grab what he misses. I think doing the headland would get most of it, but I guess not. Alright, we'll do that. Not gonna run down the crop too much there. But we'll get this unloaded. And then we can get to work ourselves. Alright. Yeah, so we'll just go back into this silo here. Sure, we got the right wagon selected. It's gonna be tip, tip front. That's right. Here we go. Bam. Cash crop. And we'll get the back here. It's so actually, I'm almost close enough it might go. Nope, not quite. Not quite. Yeah, we gotta get another auger. Um, wagon here, or not, excuse me, another auger. Let's check the sales. 
Yeah, nothing in here yet. Really thinking I might get this one for 18,000. I'm going to have to worry about driving back and forth. Seems like it's kind of big, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'd want to get a bigger silo later on, too. It's not too bad at 18.5. That's something we might do. We also want the seed treater. 37,000. That actually has to get bought, like, soon. And then we got to buy a seed silo as well. Alright, so when will these sell? Canola will sell in December. That's kind of a breath or fresh air instead of January. So that'll be good. Keep an eye on that. Oh man, yeah, I think we're gonna make some good money on that. To see how full this silo gets. Alright, let's go ahead and unload our combine one more time and then we'll get off and do some lime spreading. Alright, that should be good. Caught up there. Only 4,000 in there. I think we need to change some clothes to... It's the middle of July and we got... I wouldn't say the, the hottest clothes on, but they sure... There we go, I think we'll go for something like that. A little bit better. Let's see, let's get this about ready to go for next time. We'll shut it off, and we'll go ahead and get our limer all set up here. We're going to have to use the international. Hopefully it doesn't struggle too much. It's all flat pretty well, so don't have to worry about going up hills. That's usually when this thing has most of the trouble. Let's see how much more lime we have left in this bin. I think it's getting kind of low. Well, actually, we still got, you yeah, know, I guess we're pretty good yet. Not bad. Be nice and easy straight rows. Might take us a little bit of time since it's it's actually quite a big field. It's a pretty nice field that's right close to our house. And like I said, we'll be able to do our wheat here and get our straw and have some nice straight rows. We can actually what we'll probably do actually with the straw instead of baling it, we'll uh, we'll use the picker upper and then take it over to the stationary baler since we have it. That'll make sense. Not bad. Not a bad work process at all. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life. No shame, there's no time for the pain, let the grind, I could change in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life. I never miss that fact, taking big swings, keep jam to the back, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag, cause I sing what I mean and I bring it to the mad light. Ain't got time to kill, I got time to fail, I took a red pill, I know life's short so I wanna live real, but how's it supposed to feel?
they wanna say they hate, but they know it's cap. I ain't play no games, I just do that's fact, and I don't feel no shame. It's a mood you lack, I go crazy. Nah, but I ain't lazy. Track after track, I work on this shit daily. Pass me the jack, right as fuel got me hazy. About to unpack all these shit I've been chasing. I've got visions in my head, like memories after death. To be a legend instead of something you can forget. I'm living up every breath, I'd rather leave than be led. I'll fill the seats as I spread with every word that I've said. All right, we got lucky. Got it all, the last one here in one row. I like it when it works out like that. It's very close to not working out, but it worked out well. So not a whole lot here for the last little bit, just, but it all adds up. Let's see, we'll send this over on a worker back to somewhere in here. We'll get it all put away a little bit later. Probably do that off a of camera. Get the header. We could put the combine in the shed, probably would be a good idea. Alright, let's go uh, add the last little bit here into our silo and see what the harvest is for the day. And that's it. What we end up with 85% full? We have 60,000 liters of canola. So, what is that going to be worth when we sell that? 132,000. Oh, that's, that's nice. That is nice. Let's check the sales before we wrap up. Still nothing of use in there. Alright, so I think I'm just going to get everything kind of wrapped up and put away. Uh, the lime was low on our grass field, but I'm not going to worry about that. Maybe down the line we will. But uh, let's try to save some money on that. It's a free grass anyway. It's all... We did do it once before, but I can see that it's in need of more lime but I think we're gonna save that for the fields and uh, like I said wheat will probably be planting in September our corn we're gonna have to harvest in September because we're gonna do it a grill stage early while it's green we're gonna use that other harvester the forge harvester and uh, yeah we get to make some uh, silage bales that'll be cool something different there Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you on the next one.